begin this episode with the return of Niels. Unfortunately, he made himself a super spreader. And we go from that to Rachel saying, you know, I think this virus has a human gene. And she's been isolated from the world herself and she hasn't really seen all the patients and all the sick people. What if there was someone else out there? Could finding that immune person be the key to Dr. Scott finding the vaccine, finding the cure? Mason, who's the comm specialist, who's the one who's been listening to all distress calls from all around the world and keeping a log of them, finds the needle in the haystack of this girl. It could be the key to saving everything. It gives us a chance for some great action and adventure with the Russians again, high seas chases. And then it gives us a chance to put Chandler and Tex in the drink together. And Tex is saying, call for help. And Chandler's saying, leave us. You got the girl, mission first. And it's a great gauntlet that's thrown down to Slattery, who's now being given command. And on a human level, Slattery's always wanted command of his own ship, but he loves his friend Chandler. In the old world, you'd never leave a man behind. But in the new world, you might have to because the fate of the world hangs in the balance. And Slattery's choosing the, choosing the old world, I'm not gonna leave him there. And at the end of the episode, you see him in the captain's chambers. He doesn't even take a seat in Chandler's chair. It's not his chair. It's more important to him to get his friend back and get his captain back than it is for him to achieve whatever goals he thought he had. It's a big world, and there are going to be a lot of enemies. We had El Toro, we had Ruskov, there will be many others. We just love the idea of having it really have an international flavor because it's a show about saving the world.